Raul, you already have one of your rapid response teams on the ground in Saint Martin. What are you hearing from them so far? You know, our guys on the ground are telling us that it's pretty tough in there. There's a lot of damage and there's a lot of needs. So one of the things we've done is we've brought in this Arion Sky Ranger. It's a Canadian made innovation. It's a phenomenal drone. Drone. Mm -hmm. And we fly over and we figure out what roads are out, what bridges are down, where the population has moved to. We give people situational awareness and we take thousands of photos, cross stitch them and make emergency maps. Okay. Here's the idea. I give the emergency manager better information. He or she makes better decisions. All right, so high tech surveillance from to begin the process and then low tech with actually delivering aid on the ground. What's that? Here's a low tech solution. This is a ceramic water filter, okay? It goes into a two bucket system, gravity fed, no electricity, no moving parts. Our teams go in, we teach mom how to assemble it and use it. Mom is able to make sure her kids have clean water. The kids don't get sick, nobody dies. That's a lifesaver. Okay, and, water, and part of the, your response is also water purification tablets. That's all part of it, too? Yeah, no, absolutely. This team down there has three missions. They're installing water purification systems in the hospital in big areas, right? They're giving folks these kits along with hygiene kits and water tablets, and they're doing all the situational work with the drones. Okay. So, Saint Martin, what other parts of the Caribbean are you, are you active in? Air Canada got us into Antigua. Sunwing got us into St. Martin. So we're already in both these spots. We're putting more into Antigua, more into Dominican Republic. We're looking at Cuba now. We're looking at Tortola. And we're watching Florida as well. How would you assess the world's response, the world's aid response so far to Irma in the Caribbean? You know what? It's, it's a good response. It could be better. And I'll tell you, we make this mistake often. We don't push enough aid in in the first 72 hours of a crisis. We've made this mistake every single time, and we have to stop. We gotta keep pushing aid. Raul, thank you.